Yo, it's me, Chris. As you guys can see today, I'm here with this shirt, this tank top. Again, I do own three of them. It's not the same one all the time. And I have this gray hat. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You sure? Yep. I'm with this guy. Hey, it's me, Chris, a.k.a. Q Experience, a.k.a. Woo! Built different, a.k.a. Chubby Random, some of the blessing of the guy your mom is always talking about. Give him a little... That is for your mother. Today we're going to be doing something that's considered the hardest task on this planet, which is watching a movie. Wow. But what movie are we watching? Uh, the movie that we're watching today is going to be a First Blood uh, starring uh, Sylvester Stallone. Oh, wow. First Blood. Yeah, the first Rambo movie. Woo. Now, we feel like we may have, like, I feel like we may have seen parts of this when we were a kid. But we've never seen the whole thing. Not only that, but I don't remember it. I don't remember it. I may, I, I do remember me uh, uh, seeing bits and pieces, but I don't remember an ounce of it. That, that's, that's the thing. thing. Like, wow, we really said that at the same time. Yeah, I know. What the hell? Just uh, twin telepathy going on at the same time. That's it. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of information to take in. But yeah, it's pretty much our first time really genuinely watching this entire film. And I'm excited for it. Yes. You know who I'm also excited for? Who? The people on the Patreon. They always get me going. They get me excited, feeling a little or something, you know. <laughs> and then for those of you who are subbing to the channel right now, also get me going. Thank you very much. And then those of you who are not subbed to the channel, you make me angry. Ooh. You make me feel disgust. Oh. Absolute. I despise you in every sort of way you can think of. You're just ugly and nobody likes you and you're smelly. But hey, we could choose... To fix that by subbing to the channel right now. If you sub right now, no longer will you have to be a vile, disgusting, decrepit, smelly little goblin. Goblin these nuts. <laughs> I just put it in, man. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I really don't. The music's good, though. Yeah, I like the guitar a lot. Just like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Mm. oh, you bring in the strings? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Wow, this is a nice little cozy place. It really is, right beside the lake there? Yeah. I'm assuming he just got back from the the war or something. Why? Army jacket, he's coming back to like a secluded area. Oh, I'm so be home. Sorry, I didn't pay attention to his jacket. That's, oh, no? No, I didn't, my bad. Oh, okay. You're probably right. I, I just, my eyes was looking at everything but the jacket. Oh, it says army on it. Can you tell me this is where Delmar Barry lives? He ain't here. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't what I think it is, is it? I don't know if you ever talked about me. I've, I've got a picture. Uh... I guess he's trying to reconnect with his old friend. It seems like it. There's Delmar right in the back. We had to put him in the back because he's so big. If he didn't, he'd, he'd take up the whole picture. Look how big he is. <laughs> Delmar's gone. What time will he be back? He died. Yeah. Uh, Died last summer. Died how? Cancer. Oh, god damn. It's trying to meet an old friend and just to realize you missed him. By a couple of months, I'd assume, since it was just last summer. Yeah. That's ah, rough. I mean, he's going to be easy to run from. <laughs> I'll tell you that much, man. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> Morning, Dave. Hi, Sheriff. I take a bath this week. Hey, that was kind of mean, dude. Oh, he just called him stinky. He called him stinky. You visiting somebody around here? You know, wearing that flag on that jacket. You're asking for trouble around here, friend. Wait, why? Uh, I'll explain it. I'll jump in. I'll make sure you're heading the right direction, huh? Why? Well, it's because it, probably it's after the Vietnam War. Oh, and, yes, and a lot of right. pizza, you're, people you're, were no, against it. Yeah. Yeah. I should have connected that sooner, but you're right. You got some place I can eat around here? There's a diner about 30 miles up the highway. Are you trying to get rid of him? Oh, my God. Against me getting something here? Yeah, me. Oh, he's one of those guys. So why are you pushing me? I haven't done anything to you. First of all, you don't ask the questions around here. I do. Yo, what a dick. No, for real, that's actually rude as hell. Just to assume he's gonna be like a drifter of sorts and whatnot. 
Like he's gonna stick around or something? Yeah, you don't know his life. You don't know what he's doing. Yeah, if you want some friendly advice, a haircut and take a bath. You wouldn't get hassled so much. Hope this ride helped you out. Why is he so condescending? Hey man, he's just a fat pig. He's <laughs> just a fat pig. <laughs> just a fat pig. All I heard was. <laughs> That's it, man. Couldn't understand a word. Oh look, he's driving back. The town's calling him. Sue. That's it, man. Dude, I hate people like that, man. Oh, dude, it's absolutely annoying. I cannot stand people being condescending like that. Oh, he's going back oh, in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do now, big guy? I'm talking to you, goddamn. Oh, no, man. He's going he's gonna to escalate this. Oh, 100%. You're under arrest. Now you put your hands in the car and you spread them. I like the guy he consistently just has this blank stare. He's not even... He knows this guy's not gonna shoot or anything. Yeah, you try to be nice to some people. Nice! In, in what way were you ever nice to this man? Thanks, Alright, buzz us in, will you? What you doing hey, talk about your sorry looking humanity. Just another smart ass drift. Yo, you're sorry looking hairline. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, for real? Like, Wheels. shut up, man. Hunting. What do you hide? Elephants? I'll just see if you can clean them up a little bit. Elephants? Elephants? Well, a little knife like that? I don't think so, buddy. I'm sure elephants don't even live around these parts. These people are idiots. I feel like this is such a waste of time. Like, what's wrong with the dude just getting a bite to eat? Not even that. What's, what's wrong with him just sticking around town a little bit? He has no direction right now. You know, he's got to figure out where to go next. So bizarre. Your name. Oh, no. The PTSD. Yeah. Hey, if you're looking for trouble, you oh. can't go to that place, buddy. I don't get it. What's with these, like, overweight schlubs acting like tough guys? Because he has a stick. Yeah, but it's just like, dude, you're not scary or anything. You just look like an idiot. He has a stick. I'm gonna run a make on him. Put his name in the teletype. Yeah, this guy's just like, yo, can we get... like, Can we just do our job, please? Yeah, can we just finish this quick? Make you a little bit more presentable for your courtroom appearance. Now, between now and then, you can just impress the hell out of me by doing exactly as you're told. How do you expect respect when all you've given is disrespect? So not even just that, but you know, it. These dudes are just really bored. That's what it seems like. They have nothing better to do, so they're just gonna like take it out on this dude. Yeah, they could finally uh, abuse their little power trip that they're feeling right now on a nobody and feel good about themselves. <laughs> Galt, what the fuck was that? Yeah, really. Well, the man said clean him up. All right, hurry it up. It's time for my coffee break. Uh oh. All right, sit down. Oh, man. If he has P uh, PTSD, dude, um, this isn't gonna go well. Wait, what the? F <laughs> How are you gonna shave him like that? What the fuck? Take this, Mitch. How are you people not like seeing? Oh, uh -oh no. Yep, that's it. Oh, damn. Oh. Come on. You got Mitch with the backhand. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. God damn. That sucks to be that guy. Okay. All right, here comes Stash McGee. Stash McGee, how are you? Oh, he's fast, man. Yeah! Oh, shit. I got to actually do work. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that guy in the back is like, I ain't paid enough for this shit. Whoa! Oh, oh God! Oh, shit. Oh my god! 
All you had to do was let him go on with his like day, and he would have been fine and gone. Yeah, you just don't be rude to him. Just leave him alone. Whoa! Yo, that was sick. Oh God! Wow, Th that was some nice jumps right there. Ooh, okay, I see you, buddy. Oh, dude, there's no way that car goes through there. No. Oh, oh, oh it did. Wow. Oh, <laughs> shit. Dude, this is a bad idea. This is not an off-road vehicle. Ooh, okay. Oh. Dude, you're just really messing up your car. This car is dead. Oh, oh, no. Dude, you're... you're... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're so stupid. What a dumbass. Oh, my God. Did he really think this was going to go well? What are you going to do with your little gun? Your, your little pea shooter, dude. He, he cannot catch Rambo, man. Look at him, dude. He's nimble. He's agile. He's quick. And you have this guy. They really pushed him to his breaking point. Yep. For no reason as well. That's the thing I don't get. It genuinely makes no sense. But that's... All this could have been avoided with one interaction just never happening. But it's realistic, dude. Like, some people are just genuine assholes. True. And it, there's it, nothing you could do about it. No. Unless you're Rambo, then you kick their ass and run but away. You could do something about it. Yeah, he could do a lot about it. Look at him. What a waste of resources and you everything. Know, all his effort for one man who did nothing wrong to begin with. Was, uh, Foolish. A bunch of tough guys trying to mess with a true tough guy. That's it. People act tough until they find someone tougher than them. Exactly that. Oh, what's in the knife? Was it a compass? I think so. Yo, that's actually yeah, that's really genuinely good. genuinely such a cool thing to have. It explains why he carries it on him then. Yep. Whoa, whoa! Hey, whoa, I just spoiled the sense. Let my baby do the job. It's so funny because they're like absolutely useless. There were three of us on him in the cell block down there. He went through us like we weren't even there. Uh, come on. He, see, this guy's actually very smart. Mitch has a brain. Mitch knows, he, huh, this man's not to be fucked with. He already outclassed us. Why were we going to get outclassed again? Like, he's long gone from the town now. Let him go. Whoa. Oh, my God. That is a big drop. Yeah, okay. There's no way you jump there unless... Oh, my God. No. Okay, maybe we can climb down. Yeah. Break the... You know, get a little lower before we... John, Yo, that's terrifying as hell. Oh, shit. They got a chopper? Yeah. Again, what a waste of resources. Holy shit. Oh, it's this asshole. Whoa. What the hell's going on? What are you doing? We're just supposed to spot him. Oh, oh my god. No. Yeah, I think you gotta jump to the tree, maybe. Break the fall of the tree. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh wait, no, never mind. What the fuck? He's diving in! Oh no, he's flipping. What the hell? Oh, okay, so it is in the tree, but that hurts. Oh, oh God. God. fuck! Wait, what? That Wait, definitely looks like it would. That definitely hurts. Holy shit. I, I thought he was going to jump in the tree, break a bit of the fall, and land on the water. What the fuck? No, he messed the hell out of his arm, I think. Yeah, maybe no he, shit, bro. Maybe he crushed a rib or something, too. Like, oh, holy He had a God. gnarly fall on one of those branches. Or oh, rock? Wait, no. There's no way. Come on. You're going to snipe him with a rock? Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, shit! Wait. Did he hit the ground? I, you know what? He deserved Yo, that. He don't, deserved that. Don't wow. tell me he's actually... You know, bro. 
Cause this. Oh yeah, he's. Oh my god, this makes I, things so much worse for him. Oh. Rambo. Yo, he's smoking. He got fucked up. Smart. Take the jacket. There's one man dead. It's not my fault. I don't want any more hurt. Freeze! I'm warning you, boy. Don't make a move. I'll blow your head off. Wait, what? I didn't what? do anything. Wait, what? They just made this shit even worse. He literally wanted to stop. And you shoot him. Are these like, it's either a trap or arrows. I don't think he has a bow though. I don't think he's got any arrows. Like You can make a bow. Mm, it's true. It's he's got true. the knife and everything. Oh, he's got the, 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 the string too, right? Yeah. Um, for stitching and whatnot. No, the dogs! Uh, no! Yeah, uh, see ya, dogs. It's nice knowing you. Yeah! We gotta get this guy to a doctor. Oh, damn it, get your belt around there fast. Where's the first aid kit? I left it in the car. <laughs> you idiot! Oh my god. Get the son of a bitch. Go. Go get him. All right. Dude, what a bunch of un incompetent idiots, man. Oh my Honestly, God. yeah, man. It's well deserved. It's also just the way they hold the guns and everything, and the spraying and Did you praying. see how scared they were when the when the, he fired back? He fired one round, and they're just spraying and praying to nothing. Oh. Oh. Damn. Stabbed him right in the leg. Drawing them out. Oh! Whoa! Oh, he broke his arm! I spread out. Don't spread out! That's what he wants! Oh my god, There's no way! They blasted it! Oh, there it is! The trap! Oh! Oh my god, that must be painful as hell. Oh! In time, the law. I hear it's me. Ooh! Dude, this is when you just, like... There's no way you keep pressing on this now. No. God, no. You got more officers, the army, to deal with one man who did nothing wrong. Came into possession of the weapons with which he allegedly killed one deputy sheriff and tried to kill six others. Aw, oh, man. They're pinning it on him, everything? I've come to get my boy. Your boy? I commanded him in Vietnam for three years. I'd say that makes him mine. Damn. Rambo's a civilian now. He's my problem. I didn't come here to rescue Rambo from you. I came here to rescue you from him. Oh! You want a war you can't win? Are you telling me that 200 men against your boy is a no-win situation for us? You send that money, don't forget one thing. What? A good supply of body bags. Oh, Ooh! God damn! But if you're serious about taking Rambo out clean, follow me. What the? What the hell? This dude's he, he's so dense, he doesn't he's so get it. He's egotistical for no reason. You literally just got your ass handed to you. You were almost crying, and now you want to go back and try to stop him? Come first line, I'm going to put every man I got up on that ridge. That will get him my way. That's going to go well. He knows that that's not a good idea. No. He knows that 200 men are going to die. 100%. It, it confuses me so much. Yeah, all of this... He's not letting it go. He just won't let it go. That That's the pride part. He can't admit that he fucked up and he's wrong. Because he knows if he does admit, I'm wrong, I did this, I did that, he's just done. Like if he did it earlier, no one would have cared. 
But yep. now it's just blown out of proportions. Exactly. His career's on the... Oh! Holy shit, that's cool. He's like uh, the Predator. Oh, yeah, he's like a human Predator. Wait, are they feeling themselves? They're celebrating? What? In fact, don't do anything till I get there. And no shooting. I don't want him dead, I want him alive. <laughs> And they're just shooting away. Yeah, they don't give a shit. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys, shoot. <laughs> Look at that guy, how that scared he is. so funny. <laughs> the guy's like, I don't want to do this no more. I want you to go in and add mine. Oh, not me. <laughs> Look, I do this part-time. I didn't come here to get killed. Oh, my God. Just go yourself, big boy. Whoa. Yeah! Wow! that man a seagull! Bullseye! They're truly pathetic. They're, they're absolutely, like, incompetent. Like, they're so stupid. I... They're celebrating without even a confirmation at all. All right, Nick, one more for Soldier of Fortune. Soldier of Fortune? <laughs> oh, my Nick, God. What the hell you think this is? Some kind of a circus? You're going to have to find somebody to dig him out. Well, it's your mess, Clinton. You... Will, come on, I gotta be back at the drugstore tomorrow. You better get started right away, Clinton. Shit! <laughs> Dude, these guys are really, uh... They're all so stupid. I yeah. can't believe it. They're treating it like it's a game. It's really cringe. You think Rambo was the only guy who had a tough time in Vietnam? He killed a police officer, for Christ's sake. You're goddamn lucky he didn't kill all of you. The I, guy's not getting it. No. The, he, I, I, just, I don't know how he's not fully understanding, like... Because he doesn't want to take responsibility for his fuck-up. Oh, definitely. He likes his cushy little job, his little authority. He doesn't want to lose it. He likes being the big guy, the tough guy of the entire town. The best man lost. And he doesn't like it. He's really talking a lot of shit, dude. Yeah. It's like you said, it's like this whole ego thing. Like, he has a huge complex. I don't know. Maybe his dad beat him or his mom didn't love him. I, I can't tell you. It has to be something like that, man. It just doesn't make sense. He's got some kind of incredibly weird complex. How you doing, Wait, is Rambo a Christmas oh, movie? Oh, it's Christmas? It is. It said Merry Christmas on the, the front thing. There's Christmas trees. So Rambo's a Christmas movie. Oh, damn. Oh, what is that? I don't know. It's ugly as shit. Yo, the rat's just chilling. Yeah, man, the rats are just chilling on the side, dude. There's lots of rats. They're on him. Yeah, they're taking a ride. Oh! Never mind, they're not nice. I thought they were just gonna be nice little guys. I thought so. Do I even think they're gonna start attacking him? Imagine their faces when they see he's alive. Can't wait. Yep, Will's gonna lose his shit. Wait, we're hijacking the car? Don't look at me, look at the road. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Yo, take that as a blessing, dude. You he actually saved your life right there. Oh. Oh, oh. Whoa! Well, uh they're dead. They're oh my very god. dead. Good idea, guys. I just thought it was going to be like a, a, just a little hit or a bump, but no, they, they fucking exploded. Full on boom boom. Oh, we're just going to set up camp here? Oh! Brilliant. Alright, distraction time. I feel bad for the guy who owns this place. Yeah, it sucks to be him. It's just going to be him. Whoa! 
Wow. Wow. I hope. Whoa! Oh my god. I hope nobody was in there. That would have sucked. It's like right before he gets off work, I think I'll use the washer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Where is he going? Okay, the roof. Okay, um, you're on the roof. Cool, I guess. Why? Maybe he thinks Rambo's gonna come here. Rambo's coming to get him. I don't know. I really don't understand what he's thinking. Is he that afraid of Rambo? Bye. Oh my god, smart. Blow the power. Wow. They didn't have anyone come here first to like... What is... Oh, oh. We're gonna make a big boom boom here? There it is. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Blast away, buddy. I'm just like, I'm so annoyed at how much of a pansy Will is. He's as stubborn as Rambo is resilient. <laughs> it's insane. He's just, he's so stubborn, but he can't back up all the stubbornness. No. He's just a scared little man. Ooh. Oh my god, he's going in? Oh yeah! shit! Woo! <laughs> Rambo! Rambo, don't do it. I'm going to order the chopper in and fly you back to Bragg. This mission is over, Rambo. Do you understand me? This mission is over! Nothing is over! Nothing! You just don't turn it off! Then I come back to the world, and I see all those maggots at the airport protesting me, spitting, calling me baby killer and all kinds of vile crap. In the field, we had a code of honor. You watch my back, I watch yours. Back here, there's nothing. I was in charge of million dollar equipment. Back here, I can't even hold the job. Fucking guys! Ah! Back there, I had all these fighting guys. Who are my friends? Because back here, there's nothing. I went to get a couple of beers and the, the box is wired. And he opened up the box, fucking blew his body all over the place. Pieces of them all over me, just like this, like this, and I'm trying to pull them off, you know. And it's my friend that's all over me, and nobody would help. I can't find your legs. <laughs> that was possibly the greatest scene I've ever seen in a movie. It's up there. It's, it's up there. When you're on your own. Oh, that's a perfect song. I just want to listen to it for a bit. Oh, me too. And every new uh, so we've watched uh, Rambo, First Blood. And goddamn. What a movie, man. It's what's what's incredible is that there's so many like explosions, action scenes and whatnot, but none of it prepares you for that ending monologue. Nothing does, and that was truly the greatest thing I've ever seen. Like holy crap! Like just a uh, big, absolute like. Big kudos props, to yeah. like Sylvester Stallone, man. Big props to Stallone, man. Boy. That was like that was the greatest acting I've ever seen him do, ever. Like, he really put his all in that, his heart, his soul into that entire thing. It kind of actually reminds me of Conan and the fact that Rambo doesn't really say a lot in this movie. No. He has moments of dialogue, sure, but generally, once you start getting into the film, 
It's more so just his survival. Yeah. And it's kind of as if, like, you know, seeing him going through it all, he's bottling it up. He's bottling yeah. it up. His frustrations with the world and the fact that he can't hold down a simple job. When back in the military, he was running all this expensive equipment, uh, this top-of-the-line he stuff. Was, he was useful and He whatnot. felt like his purpose was there. And then yep. he comes to this real world and he can't hold a simple damn job. Nope. All of his friends are dead. He has nobody left Not in the just world. That, but all the civilians don't like him. They yep. protest against yep. him. They don't understand what he went through or what nope. happened over there. Yet nope. they feel like they have the right to say that he's this and he's that. You know, it's like he said, back then, you know, I had your back, you had mine. Here, nobody has your back. No, everyone's for themselves. Everyone's against you kind of and thing. And specifically, a great representation of that is Will. Yeah. This dude sacrificed so many lives just for his ego and his pride. I, 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 I honestly don't understand it. I don't know what his motivations were in anything, but his oh. level of stubbornness was just ridiculous. You know what the weird thing is? Is like he was so stubborn. He was so like, this, like trying to act like this big tough guy, and he was like so afraid of Rambo. It, it really didn't make sense. You know, every time he's talking big, talking ba big, but when it's time to act, he's always cowering in fear, and he's unsure and very afraid. It's just like I don't understand it. Like, who? For certainly, they made a great antagonist because I hated him beyond yeah, belief. I, I, he's I, easy to hate. They don't really kind of explain, give him a backstory or nothing. No. They, Dude is just purely a dick. Who they, knows why it is? They, ne I feel like they never justify why he's such an asshole. Not at all. It just doesn't make sense to me. It truly does. And it, it's just like, I think it's just to show, you know, these people are very real. You know, there's plenty of people like this in real life, you know? Yeah. These people who basically will not um, they let, take responsibility for their mistakes. Well, not just that, they point their fingers and blame everyone else like someone else has the problem. And it's like, dude, yeah, it's you that has the that, problem. But you can tell that he has some form of like issue or some complex of power. Like, this is my city. This is my... It's like, dude, you my don't job, own shit here. My city. Like, what are you talking about? It's like he keeps constantly taking responsibility for like the city and his job. But it's like, but you won't take responsibility for the fact you fucked it all up. Yeah, you won't take responsibility for your actions. It's just wild. But I think it's a very common thing when people who have a lot of um power in a sense you know the, it goes to their head oh, you know yeah. like i do no wrong everyone else has the problem it's like no nah, yeah. dude you pretty much have the biggest problem of all and my god just like it, it, the fact that he wouldn't like he constantly wouldn't, troutman he, would tell him over and over again dude you're all gonna die and he's like, he's, like yeah, he's just telling him back off it just let it go in and out not even that but there's not even that scene Rambo at the bottom of the waterfall is just like, I'm done, guys. Like, let's just stop this. I did nothing wrong. Let's just call it off. Someone's already dead. It's bad enough. Let's just... And he just, he wouldn't fucking listen. Because he feels like if I let him go, I lose. But you also have to take into consideration of how bad he fucked up, too. The wastes of resources that he did, too. At the end of the day, yeah. he lost his goddamn job. Oh, so he was 100%. committing so hard to catch him, thinking that possibly there would be some sort of redemption where he could keep his cozy little cushy job. But he just fucked it more and more and more like and more. It's kind of like he digging his own grave. The deeper he got into this, the worse it got. And it's just like, yep. dude, you should have stopped while you... All you had to do was drive past him. You Literally, you that was it. You should not have stopped your car. Like, I didn't understand that. You're just like, you pick him up, you drive him out of town, and you tell him to get the fuck out of here, essentially. In like the most condescending way possible. Yeah. And then he comes back in, and it's just because he just wants to eat something. That's what he wanted. He didn't want to go to the next town over, you know? Not like that, but he didn't even ask what his plans were or nothing. He just off the bat, get the hell out of he here. He just assumed you're a drifter. We don't want you here. Dude, just listen to his story. Let the man grab a bite. You know, that's it. All you have to do is be a decent human being with common sense. Yep. That entire situation would have been over. Yeah, he literally looked at Rambo, looked at the jacket, judged him entirely. Yep, saw he was from the army and whatnot and just thought... Like Look yeah. at this guy. I, I, it was a great representation as well, I have to say, of uh, PTSD. They did a very fantastic job. Yeah. The fact that just seeing the bars inside of the prison kind of just gave him those flashbacks of being captured. I guess he was a POW of some sort. Yeah, and not just that, when he started to get aggressive with him, take him, like, trying to, trying to like, shave him. It's like, yeah. that looks more like you're trying to slit his throat, dude. That looks very scary. Yeah. And especially it, in his eyes. Mm -hmm. And, and that's know? what kind of, like, triggered this fear. And, uh, again, you know. He had to defend himself. It's just, uh, like you said before, it's just like, you know, throughout the whole film, uh, he was, like, silenced and everything. And it's just, it's that ending monologue where it finally, it finally fully explodes. 
finally he can't hold it in no more. There's no not, more bottling not, up. Not even that, but he finally he can talk to someone he's comfortable with. Yeah, because you know? Troutman's now there with him in person. Yeah, that's so it. finally he does have some sort of like it was you know, friend it in was a way. Interesting because it was just like when Will and Troutman are in the bar and he's like, "What are you gonna do? Uh, walk, walk up to him, give him a sloppy kiss, or shoot him in, or blow out his brains?" And he's just like, "I have to meet him first. And then he met him and he realized, "Oh." Even like a, like a big heads up to the uh, the actor for Troutman, like his face. Like oh just my like, god! It's it's just the look. The I, look I, on I, his face. I almost cried. I, it was I, so beautiful. I like that much, entire scene. I, I got very teary. And just like even Troutman did, like just just the representation on his face, like of the the realization of how fucked up it is for for Rambo, like how absolutely how, mentally like distraught much, he is over the war. He's struggling. You know the thing is, is Troutman. He also understands him. You know, he, yeah. he went through the whole war as well. So he understands the pain and suffering, but he didn't realize it was that no, bad for him. He didn't because Trumpman moved on. For Rambo, it never ended. That's, that's it. the difference. You know, he came back. All his friends are dead. Like, that's so sad. Yeah. It's horribly sad. Oh my God, the any, story. any connection that he had, any familiarity with the world is gone. He's alone. Yeah. He has nothing. You know? I mean, it's just like even like when he was telling the story of how his friend just blew up all over him and stuff like that. It's just yeah. like. Dude, nobody's just... trying to help him, and the guy just keeps crying. I want to go home. I want to yeah. drive my oh car. Oh my god, man. fuck, man, fuck. And he's just uh, the entire. I'm just telling you, man. That entire monologue was some of the greatest cinema I've ever seen in my fucking life. Yeah. I've never felt so emotional watching a scene in a movie. No, S S Sylvester Stallone. Absolutely. But I'm thinking nailed. about it, and I'm I'm about to cry just thinking about it, man. It's that insanely like it's it, that impactful. It's, it's so powerful, man. Oh my god! You just you, you you truly just see it how vulnerable he is, and it's like he reverts back to a kid, child. He starts crying, and he's like holding on to Trump and like hugging him, like you know yeah. he he just all he's looking is for some comfort. Yep. Some security, some safety, you know. He just wants someone to tell him it's going to be okay, you know. Yeah. Something, something as simple as that. You know, that's why he kept looking for his friends, because he, he thought, maybe if I find my, my, my friends, you know, I, won't be, I won't feel as lost. I know? won't be alone. Yeah. Because he's very lonely. He's being judged entirely, you know, for what he... Going to Nam, you know? Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people... I, I'm quite sure did not have a choice when it came to going to Nam either. No, I, some people were not... They had no choice at all to go to Nam. And some people didn't have any other choice either. You know, like yeah. a lot of people, like, so, some, like if you're, if you're like in poverty or something, or like, let's say like, for example, you have no parents and you're just a, a young boy. What else do you have to do? Like, honestly, like, you know, yeah, it's just like yeah, a lot of people, you don't, you don't know, you don't know their stories. You don't know why they're there or why they've gone there kind of thing. And it's like, you know, and it's yeah. easy to demonize yeah. every single person because yes, bad things did happen there, but it doesn't mean it was done by everybody. So, you know, the people who you know aren't these demons of sorts. They come back and, and they're just being shit on relentlessly. They can't defend themselves. They can't do anything about it. Because mm -hmm. no one ever pre prepared them for civilian life. No. And how people are just so mean to you. You know? I think that's the realization is that the people back in the real world are really mean. They're very mean to each other. There's no such thing as camaraderie or whatnot. You know, there's no, no honor. There's no... Like, all that is just thrown out the window. You come back and you're just... People are just pieces of shit, man. They're just mean for the sake of being mean. They don't need a reason. They have a bad day. Well, guess you're having one too, buddy. That's how it is. It's it's yep. genuinely sad. Yeah. You know? And it's like, uh, even he said, you know, they they, they, uh, they haven't been in his shoes. They don't understand what he did, what he'd been through. They yeah. don't understand what he yeah. actually did, you know? And, and they're they just, protesting. Like, they, they paint they him as like, he said like a baby killer. He said something so horrible and disgusting. Yeah. He's like, you know, again, like... It's true, though. It's true. You don't know what happened there. You don't know what... Again, you know, it's just like you're judging people, but you didn't put your, uh, you didn't put your feet in their own shoes. It's so easy just to judge and just claim that everybody did this, did that. Everyone's the problem. It's just like that's not how it works, man. You can't generalize people. You generalize people and you create fucking problems. That's it. Yeah, it's just, it's sad. It's sad. It's uh, like I'm just uh, it's a beautiful movie. Honestly, like it's uh, just it's so good. Easily became one of my top five on this channel right now. That that one I, moment. I will tell you. I will me. tell you right now. Of every movie that I have seen that we have done for this channel, that ending monologue is the best scene I've seen yet. Yeah. Nothing. I, nothing I, can trump that. You know the the hard thing is like every time I'm gonna go to a movie I'm, or I'm gonna watch a movie I'm just gonna be like I'm gonna always. Uh, it's like that's a good scene, but was it better than the ending of Rambo? Thing, that it's become a scene that I will compare. In other movies kind of thing like it's always yeah. going to be my bar yeah we're, we're, we're going pretty long but i also just want to say one last thing yeah i really like the fact that the 
the movie is called First Blood because they drew First Blood. And I really like the context of the, of the title of the film. Yeah. Because it really does... I don't know. It, it just it, represents it, it, it very well. It's very fitting. That's yeah. It. It's I don't know. All, all in all, that's a, that's a solid movie. I, I absolutely loved it. And uh, we're gonna peace on out. We're okay? gonna peace on out. Uh, I guess like Will's friend who went down into the canyon. Yeah, we're gonna fall right onto some rocks. Ah! Ah! Bye. Bye. Oh, woohoo!